Welcome to the first in a series of videos from Submarine Pickups, showing you how to get your Sub Pro set up and functioning in the best way for you and your guitar. This video is for setup on an electric guitar. Uh, acoustic players, please check out the acoustic installation video. In these short tutorials, we'll take into account your playing style, the type of guitar you're using, its shape, and any idiosyncrasies it might have. And we'll show you a few ideas to get you started with expanding your sound and helping you navigate the best way through this wormhole of guitar exploration that is opened up by using submarine pickups. So first of all, we need to decide the best spot for your Sub Pro. I prefer it close to the neck. I like the rounder sound from the neck position, which, which works better with sub octave effects. If you are using it exclusively to generate lead guitar type tones, something with a bit more bite, you might prefer it closer to the bridge. Ultimately, there's no right or wrong way. It really comes down to personal preference. If your guitar has two pickups, you'll probably end up positioning it between the two of those. If it has three, you may not have enough space, but please do check the product page specification for more information. So first of all, let's slide the Sub Pro underneath the strings just to check we have enough space, both in terms of real estate on top of the guitar and enough room for the strings to move underneath. So far, so good. Um, we'll fine-tune that in a little while. There are two things to look out for here, and the first is string buzz, so when if, if the string is actually striking the submarine pickup. Um, we, we, we don't want that to happen. And the second thing to avoid is inharmonicity. And this is when the magnets from the pickup are too close to the string and exert a pull on it. Without getting too technical at this stage, it results in the harmonics being out of tune compared to the note of the open string, the, uh, the fundamental. In short, the string sounds like it is out of tune with itself. Um, now, I've got a friend who loves this kind of thing, but unless you are pushing the boundaries of left field avant-garde guitar music, it's probably best avoided. If you are getting buzz or inharmonicity at this stage, the pickup is too close and you'll need to either uh, remove the black base plate, move the Pro close to the bridge where the strings may be further from the body, should be further from the body, or you might need to do both. Again, uh, if uh, you haven't yet purchased and you're concerned about the thickness of the Pro and whether it will fit on your guitar, please check the specification on the product page. So now we need to choose how to fix the Sub Pro to the guitar, and there are three main options. Um, the first is microsuction pads. Um, microsuction, microsuction pads are the most reliable and ideal for a temporary or a permanent installation. They have adhesive on one side, and the other, the black side, is a material similar to that of Gecko's feet. It is a new nano, nano material. And the adhesive side will stick to the Pro, and the microsuction side holds firm to the guitar. The microsuction pad is not an adhesive in the traditional sense, and so it won't leave any sticky residue on your guitar. The second option to use is, uh, is the magnets, and this is ideal if, if you plan on constantly removing and refitting the Pro uh, on your guitar. You can stick the magnets uh, on your guitar and then it becomes easy to swap the Pro in and out if you are regularly changing your setup. And the third option is black tack, which is a squishy putty similar to blue tack. But, well, it's, I mean, it's even stickier, and this is great for guitars that have a curved profile like an arch top or Les Paul. Um, there are a few guitars we don't recommend using Sub Pros with, antique guitars or those with delicate lacquer, and also guitars with a nitrocellulose finish. Um, but let's get back to the installation. Firstly, I'd recommend making sure that the guitar is clean. Just give it a quick rub with a lint-free cloth to remove any dust, grease, and fluff as the dust clogs up the microsuction pad and it doesn't function as well as it otherwise could. So yeah, these are, these are the microsuction pads. And so these are what the microsuction pads look like. As you can see, I've already peeled off the white or um, sometimes yellow backing 
and have applied them to the base plate. You'll notice that this one here is offset slightly to accommodate the scratch plate finishing uh, midway along the base of the pickup. It's going to finish about there. Um, and the next thing to do is, if I hold it here you'll be able to see a little better, next thing to do is to slide the middle switches closer to the middle, by which I mean the D string should be pushed to the right and the G string should be pushed to the left and this will help with uh, alignment later on. Now you might be able to see I've already removed the clear plastic film. Um, and I should say at this point, if you are fitting the Pro for a second time, or third or fourth time, you may need to clean the microsuction pads. Um, and you can do this, just peel off a, a, bit of the, uh, a bit of the paper tape that comes with it, and stick it onto the pads and peel them off. And this will remove any dust or grime from the pads. Then, very carefully, slide the Pro underneath the strings as best you can, get it nice and straight. You, uh, you may find it helpful to use some of the paper tape to help you mark it out first, but I find that eyeballing it seems to do the trick just fine. Now, when those two switches are perfectly underneath the corresponding strings, as they are now, that is when the Pro is centered and you can push down gently on the guitar. This will be enough to hold the Pro in place. Now we need to adjust the height of the Pro. The sweet spot here is somewhere between 3 and 7 millimetres. That's about an eighth to a quarter of an inch for you Americans. Uh, I'd recommend closer for the gentle finger pickers and further away for the loud strummers. So with the supplied Allen key, give each a turn until you're happy with the height. Anti-clockwise raises it up a touch and clockwise lowers it. So I'm going to just going to lower that one down a touch. Again, you can, uh, as you're playing, you may find that you want to move it closer or further away, and it's kind of easier to do when you've got, especially with an electric guitar, when you've got it plugged in, because you'll be able to hear that in harmonicity. Make sure, again, you listen for string buzz and that hidden harmonicity and just adjust accordingly. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to get the thing plugged in and we'll start to have some fun with guitar pedals. Thanks for watching.